Lord Bellius' private room is ahead. But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild! Brave Vesperia! I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nats. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the Dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the Air Crene myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if Old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. All right, let's get going, too. Patty? 
What's she doing? It looks like she's shopping. Give me one of these and one of these. Y yes, ma'am. Wait a second, dear. Um, those clothes are... Uh, I'm sorry, but are you Eifried's granddaughter? It's just that there's been a rumor going around. People say there's a girl dressed like Eifried who claims to be his granddaughter. Uh, huh? Granddaughter? That means... I knew it. Your total comes to 450 gold. Um, could I ask you to stop coming here? Is that because I'm Eifried's granddaughter? Uh, well, you see, I don't really mind myself, but our customers, you see. Huh? What? Wait just a second. I didn't say anything like that. Darling, you just said it hurt our reputation if the granddaughter of an outlaw shopped here. Well, yeah, she's the granddaughter of a guy who violated the guild's morals and slaughtered tons of people. Well, that... Cut the crap. What? Do you honestly think a child is responsible for that? What exactly did she do that was wrong? It's okay, Yuri. No need to get angry. This kind of stuff happens all the time. What is up with you? He was saying all of that for your sake. You don't have to worry about me. I'm leaving town soon enough anyway. Farewell. Uh, hey, wait up! <sighs> uh, I swear. Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? I wonder what that's all about. She never mentioned that before. I wonder if it's true. I don't know. Who knows? But even so, is Eifried's reputation really that bad? After the Black Hope Massacre, he lost the trust of every guild. And now most guild members utterly despise him. Ah, okay. Uh, Yuri, are you sure it's okay to let her go? This is Patty we're talking about. She's a strong girl. I'm sure she'll be fine. Right. Anyway, if we don't get back soon, the old man might get sick of waiting and start some mischief again. That's true. Is Patty alright? She's tough. She'll pop back up soon enough. Do you think Patty's really Ivory's granddaughter? Even if she is, that treatment is inexcusable. Patty has done nothing wrong. Regardless of the guild's trust, it's not unusual that Patty would bear the brunt of the anger. Ivory isn't around to take it after all. But that's still no excuse to blame Patty. True. Patty, you mustn't get used to all of this. Welcome. Staying the night? I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. Did a cynical older man come in? Oh, he's a friend of yours? Your rooms have already been paid for, so please, make yourselves at home. Shall we call it a day? Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh yeah. What was it again? 
The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison? Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's Brave Vesperia. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. The end. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. I'm sorry, but the Duce is not currently receiving visitors. Please come back later. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. Must be fate. There is no such thing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Bellius? Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? All right, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. Don't tell me you're out to save the world or something. Man, what's with that guy? A town with a Colosseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child. Hey! Well then, what about all... Never mind. I know where this is going. started all of this huh what are you talking about B -b -b both of you st st stop this nonsense 
making a scene like this out in front of everyone. Mind your own business. You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? Hey! If I'm wrong for doing this, you'll have my apology later. But I think it's you two who are in the wrong here. Damn it! Are you okay? Oh, thank you so m much. You were with, with m m Madam President C Kaufman. We're the Guild Brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. <laughs> Let him have his fun. You're a gay of Ruins Gate, right? You might want to work out a little before you go trying to stop any more fights. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Thanks. Oh, uh, there's a f favor I wanted to ask of you. Far be it from us to ignore a request from Ruins Gate. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? P perhaps we could discuss this somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. If Ruins Gate recognizes us, it'll help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment... ...is to look for Pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we at least hear what he has to say first, and then decide whether or not to accept? Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. Let's go and stop by the Coliseum then. We can at least hear him out. Nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. All right. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to take over Palastrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see, we have been commissioned by Palastrale to investigate the... Ruins at the Coliseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. If s someone else took c control, it would be discourteous to the Entelechaea. Entela what? Ah, oh, oh yes, M my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? Like the Kritya? Okay, so then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He, he's the champion of the C Coliseum. Huh? What are you talking about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to, to take on Palastrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be... So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Yes. P please for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Coliseum? Of c c course, and he's being b b backed by Le Leviathan's Claw. Le Leviathan's Claw plans to use the c c 
Colosseum for income to d d dominate the other guilds. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No way! We already know Qmore and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the Guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um, but... Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? What I really want to do... I... I beg your pardon. Is this a d difficult decision for you all? There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. R right! As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so... No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well, I suppose I can sit this one out. The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Sure. Beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. See the show? Have a go! The Coliseum is... You want to give it a go? I had a feeling you were going to be a contestant! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brutal battles of the Nordapalaga Coliseum. First off, let's go over the rules of the tournament. This is a single elimination tournament. No second chances here. If a fighter makes it through three thrilling rounds, he or she will then challenge the champion. Fighters, if you best our champion in the ring, not only will you receive a fantastic prize, but you'll also take the position of champion. And now, on to the first fight. Yuri, good luck! You'll do great, Yuri! Try not to hurt yourself. <sighs> I wanted to fight. You're still going on about that? Look at all these people. This should help advertise our guild nicely. In today's first fight, a new face in the Coliseum. Hailing from the new guild, Brave Vesperia, please welcome Yuri Lowe. His opponent, a former knight turned political activist with a prison record to boot, Gigantus Erringar. One a battle-hardened fighter, one a fledgling youth. The outcome looks set, but is it? Welcome to the crossroad between heaven and hell. Our first fight is on! Fight! Get ready, I'm taking you down. I guess that was an okay warm-up. For our second round, we welcome the hellacious bandana-clad thief, Yugum Jerome! <laughs> Where are the starfish? Give me the starfish! Versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lolo! Don't let your guard down, young warrior! The battle has only just begun! down to the gates of Hades! Fight! Hold still. I'll make this quick. As you wish! 
No way. That was too easy. On to the third round! A masked warrior undefeated with the sword, Johan Dummer! Soon, you will know the exquisite pain of my soul versus brave Vesperian. Is it blind luck? Is it pure skill? Everything will be decided in this one battle! Which of these warriors will extinguish the flames of their opponent's burning soul? Fight! Hold still. I'll make this quick. You can do better than that. Wow, look at Yuri go. Looks like he's got the goods all right. Well, it just keeps getting better. Now it's time for the main event. Allow me to introduce the current and undefeated champion of the Coliseum. What? What do you mean? It's the heartthrob with the steely gaze, Flynn Shifo! Yuri? What are you doing here? Huh. So you're the evil villain who's trying to take over the Coliseum. Very funny. Want to tell me what you're talking about? Huh. So we're being used. It seems that way. Men of the Coliseum, let the flames of your valor burn bright! Aren't you cutting it a bit close? Hey, these people didn't pay good money to see a rigged fight. You could at least ease up a little. Like you're having any trouble blocking me. So, care to explain what you're doing here? You know, nightly duties and such. Afraid that's all I can say. Since when is becoming the champion of the Coliseum a duty? Especially for a captain of the knights. I'm not at liberty to say. I think it's great you're taking your promotion so seriously, but be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew. You're the one taking this seriously. It's been a while since I've seen you enjoy anything this much. And don't you think it's about time you return Her Highness? You'll have to take that up with the lady herself. Her Highness tends not to listen to the things I tell her. Yeah, well, Her Highness isn't particularly fond of taking my advice either. As your rich! Well, shall we put an end to this little show? How? If we quit now, they'll boo us out of the building. Yuri Oh, you gotta be kidding. What do we have here? Has someone arrived to steal the spotlight from the stars of the show? Yuri, you've managed to stay alive long enough for me to kill you. Now let me show you my thanks. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, but I got other reasons for sticking around. You are the only man ever to make me bleed, and I swear that you will die by my hand. Man, why not do something a little more productive with all that energy? Watch this! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's a Blastia! I can't believe he tried to use it like that! I've got a bad feeling about this. That Blastia... Judith! Hey, what are you doing? What could this mean for the tournament? Oh, screw this. I'm out of here. How do you like my arm? 
You did this to me, and now I'll use it to destroy you! <laughs> Yuri! Come, Yuri, let me show you my new toy. Now you're starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> now you will meet your doom! Do you seriously think I'm gonna let you get away with using a blast deal like that? <laughs> you're all just jealous of my arm. Arm, you should really use that tenacity for something. more pre productive <laughs> worship me fear me let me feel your rage <laughs> 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 You and that weird arm. I can't stand idiots who don't respect Blastia. I'm not done yet. I just keep getting... Oh, it's out of his control. That's what he gets for using it like that. This damn Blastia's not doing what I want it to. What are they doing here? They're kept here to be used in the tournaments. That shock just now must have destroyed the barrier Blastia that was holding them in. He's getting away. Ah! Damn it. Guess we'll have to take care of the monsters first. Flynn was thinking ahead. He even sounds like a real captain already. We're getting out of here. Judith and your puppy dog already took off. Yeah, I heard. A hero's work is never done. Hello? Wait up! Hey!
He got out of the city. He's pretty good at running away. Repeat is still after him. Hopefully he won't lose the trail. But what's the deal anyway? Why would Regay... Think he set us up somehow? It looks that way. He used us to keep Flynn from carrying out his orders. Orders? Relax. It doesn't look like he's here to recapture any princesses. He wouldn't go through the trouble of entering the tournament for that. Well, then what could it be? Good question. Whatever it was, I'm sure it was hurting Regay's plans. But Regay seemed so polite. He didn't seem too polite when he was making off with that case. This might mean Ruin's Gate is nothing more than a false front. Still, what could he want with that case? Just what was the clear Ciel crystal? About all we know now is that something in that box made my magic go all haywire. I never lost control of my Bodhi Blastia like that before. Hey, if we've got the time to be standing around chatting, shouldn't we be chasing after your doggy friend? You're right, we should be going. Damn that reggae. What could he possibly want with that case? Well, our genius mage's magic was kind of weird. He must have thought it was linked to that box. Then you think Regay knows what's in the box? The only way we'll find out is by going after him. If he stole it knowing what was inside, then he must know what the clear CL crystal can do. If we catch him, we might learn something about Jormgen. Okay, now we definitely can't let him get away. Yes, we don't have a moment to lose.